Hey, everyone, so you remember like a couple weeks ago or when I talked about how uh, Sony got hacked? Well, they didn't pay the money and no one wanted to fork over $2 million, so the information is now coming out. So we've got a slew of videos coming out detailing some of the more interesting parts of the revelations that we've learned from these leaks. One of which is that PlayStation plans to rip you off by raising the cost of games to $80 to $100 from 2027. I know what you're thinking. Like, okay, but Kevin, what about inflation? All right, I'm gonna give you some math here, okay? So this is from the anatomy of a third part. Um, this is from the anatomy of a f sale, okay? So if you're selling physical at sixty dollars, a third party company can expect twenty seven dollars. If it's a first party title, they don't need to pay the console royalty. So they would make $34 based on old information. So I don't know how up to date that is. Rates might have changed and all that. But these were the statistics last known you know, to the general public and the ones I generally go off of. Digitally, which at a cut of 70-30, if a third party sells a game, it's $42. If a first party sells a game at $60, they get the whole $60. Their revenue has doubled since the advent of digital publishing. And as more and more people switch to buying their games digitally, their income has doubled on sale. What they get per sale has doubled. And yet they're telling you, oh, we need to raise the cost of games to $80 to $100 because... Inflation. It's like, oh, no, no, you don't because you're making double now. You're just trying to scam us. See, what's happening is the industry relied on ESG and DEI. So they hired a bunch of people who were flat out not qualified for the jobs they were being given. And on top of that, Sony is $30 billion in debt. And on top of that, if you look at the production, their annual breakdown, you'll find a lot of these companies pay just an astronomical amount of money for administration, often either equal or greater than the cost of developing all their games. So they want you to subsidize their bloat. They want you to subsidize their bad hiring practices, and they want you to subsidize their poor business decisions. You have to pay a bunch of money so the CEOs can get those really nice bonuses of a few million dollars while developers get let go. If that doesn't sound bullshit, uh, I don't know what to tell you. That is this bullcrap. So Sony is looking to rip us off. And this really puts a damper on my interest in getting a PlayStation 5 because Sony has just become so anti-consumer. It's ridiculous. And that's all there is to say about this. Thank you for tuning in. Hit like, subscribe. Peace.